Okay, I guess it's still following me. I don't know. Let's just run. Okay. I guess it is. It's not fair. I'm not to blame. I've been manipulated by that demon. He played my guilty conscience and duped me into facing the shadow alone. That vile, conspiring man. He expects me to meet my death as he steals power beyond imagination. Alexander, I will kill you for what you have done. If only the shadow had caught me in London or Algeria, I wouldn't have to suffer this humiliation. You made me a murderer. A monster. And now, I merely await my death. I am too weak to press on. I can hardly stand as my knees fail me. I cannot see as my eyes are dressed in tears. I am as broken as the men I've tortured. If only I could wipe my fear away. As we did with them. And so that's where the game began, I guess. Sure seems that way. Okay, so what you actually are supposed to do is cut your hand on this. Put blood in it. And then stand over here on this. For a second. And wait. I, I'm not sure why. It never really gives you specific instructions. I guess I stopped that thing by flipping the switch, so then you come over here and then you do it again. And that unlocks the door and then you lose your mind. Come on, Daniel. Ouch. This stuff really hurts to crawl around on. You might want to get up. Ouch. 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 Okay. Orb chamber. At last. Here. Why don't we patch ourselves up a little bit? There we go. A few cuts and bruises. Now we're doing good. Alright. This is it. The sight of her lifeless body crippled his psyche. He tried to remove himself from the scene, but he could not. Instead, he fell to his knees and begged her for forgiveness. I was wondering if you were going to show up. I see a Agrippa convinced you to run some errands. Tell me. Is everything nice and clear now? Am I the villain? Good and evil. Such comforting concepts, but hardly applicable. Are you so blind that you see no good in me or evil in Agrippa? So for whatever reason he is floating and thought he was a man, but now he's a ghost. I don't know. Don't know how he got here like this, but... So there are crazy symbols all over the place, so he's... It seems pretty clear he's like some alien from another dimension or something. He's trying to open a portal to get back home, so... Let's just... What if we said no? It's unstable and on the verge of falling over, huh? So I'm gonna show you one ending, and then I'll show you another. So one ending you can get is from... If you push these back and forth... Don't do that. Yeah, he doesn't like it when you do that, so... I realize you doubt my intentions. Why would I take such extreme measures to save your life? Uh-huh. Maybe I'm saving mine, too. Oh, really? Okay, well... I can't say I really care. Stop it, You are ruining it. Yep, that's the idea. So close, I beg you. We... We're not close to anything. Bro, you're close to this. Like you, Daniel, a prisoner of circumstance, trapped in a world I no longer recognize. 
As you gain your freedom, will you deny me mine? Uh, yes. We are so close. Closer than I've been for centuries. Yeah. I don't really care about any of that. Uh oh. Well, at least I took you down with me, you son of a bitch. I guess the shadow caught up with him. Probably shouldn't stand on this, so... It was my greatest triumph, and I never looked back. You think I was afraid, fleeing Brennenberg? Huh. Quite the contrary. I knew it was my purgatory. Hellfire made to wash away my sins. There's no denying the things I've done, but I have paid my tribute. I gave them that awful man. I did the right thing. And that's the end of Amnesia. At least one of the endings. Um, I can show you another one, which I will do here in just a minute. Actually, probably just a second. Like right now. Okay, so we're back. I was wondering if you were going to show up. I see Agrippa convinced you to run some errands. Tell me, is everything nice and clear now? Am I the villain? Good and evil. Such comforting concepts, but hardly applicable. Are you so blind that you see no good in me or evil in Agrippa? So, um, we worked really hard to get... Whoa. We worked really hard to get Agrippa's head, so I'm going to show you what we actually uh, can do with it. And we've got to wait for a little bit here. Got to kill some time. So... And, uh, so he's trying to open this portal, presumably back to his dimension or world or whatever. And we're uh, we're not going to let him have his way. Come on, open your pretty little portal. These rocks will start spinning uh, faster and faster. Check out that crazy Cthulhu shit up there. Look at all that. Look at all this nonsense. What is this? Got this stuff all over the place. Alright, come on. Like I said, it does take some time. But yeah, you can't do anything directly to him. There's no way. There's, he's just got this blue fire around here. So, even if you could get up there, I mean, it looks like he's just a ghost. So, don't think you can really do much to a ghost. Yeah, now, now shit's picking up. Music's getting all hyped. <laughs> this game does have a fantastic soundtrack. I'll give it that. It's very uh, evocative. Ah! Do you see it? A whole other world. So, you can't touch it, so you can't go through the portal, apparently. Maybe you have to be a ghost or something. Or maybe just a head. Oh, hang on. I guess I was getting ahead of myself. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, you're not going to be able to enter either. There you go, Agrippa. I probably shouldn't stand on this. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't go as planned.
camera is drawing me towards the blue shimmer. There he is. Do you see him, Vaya? He deserves so much more. I don't think I do. I think I deserve an ass whooping and death. Please, help him. I know you can. Just keep going forward. Don't worry, Daniel. It will be all right. And there you go. So there's only uh, one ending left, and I will show you that. Uh, that's the bad ending, and I'll show you that right now, just kind of for for giggles and grins. Do you see it? So yeah, so for this ending, all you have to do is just nothing. Just wait. All the pylons have added all their energy. So. So that's it. Please let me go. Sacrifice won't be forgotten. You will be celebrated forever. Yep. So that's the last ending, and uh, that is Amnesia: Dark Descent. Uh, overall, it's really, I think it's really good. It's got a pretty uh, brilliant story. Uh, very uh, Lovecraftian in its theme. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of wish this had been my my first playthrough of it. And actually, uh, first time I finished it, I was really uh, angry. <laughs> because I didn't understand it, and I thought the game was pretentious. Uh, but then I went back and I read what other people thought, um, w w what they got out of different things, what they pieced together, I guess, in the story. And then it kind of started making more sense. I played through it again, and I'm like, okay, now I get it. And, uh, yeah. But I, I guess just the disjointed kind of storytelling style, and it that threw me off. But, yeah, it's actually, uh, it's it's pretty brilliant. Uh, it's, very, it's very well done. Um, <laughs> so I, maybe that's the same way that I am with the machine for pigs. I just need to, I don't know, I need to collect more information. But anyway, that's the game. I hope you liked it. Maybe hit escape. Then there's the end screen. So, all right. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, I don't know. Fuck off. All right, see ya.